Hey everybody, welcome to the Falcon One-Shot. On the agenda today is going to be Adventure Lib, which is a game that I saw on Steam. It looked silly, it sounded silly, I played it, and I came to the conclusion that it is indeed silly. Um, what this is, is kind of like, at least for me, a bit of a throwback to my younger days when I used to play Mad Libs with my friends. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Mad Libs, but it was basically a game where it would just throw out a bunch of different stories and paragraphs and sentences, and then initially you would start off by adding a bunch of verbs, a bunch of nouns, a bunch of adjectives, etc., and then everything you came up with you would just plug it into that story and you'd have yourself a little bit of a silly adventure as a kid and other friends with me we would never follow the rules so it'd be like you know the dog crossed the stupid to get to the other side of the poop or something like that and for us as kids it was like the most funniest thing in the whole world and now that I think about it not really much has changed considering my intelligence and my humor back then to it is now but that's besides the point uh, anyway so your mileage will vary with this type of game it's a silly game take that into consideration for sure though um, what's really cool about this is that you can see down here it says add your own um, I'm not gonna show this off because it actually does close off the game and sends you out to your browser to do a bit of file editing but what's really cool about it is the file editor thing itself will walk you through relatively easily how to add your own words how to add your own drawings and pictures so you could definitely customize this adventure at your own whim so let's go ahead over here and show for our world. Right now I was a toilet and um, the king was a chipmunk, which sounds really amazing. Now we've slipped over. Now I'm a pair of pants and the king is a toilet. I kind of like it. Let's go ahead and begin our adventure here. Alrighty, the mighty and beloved toilet ruler of your fur kingdom has chosen you, the humble but very brave pants, to be the new hero of the land. Your quest is to defeat the fearsome robots, find the incredible king of legend, and unite the brooms all across the kingdom. So, I'm supposed to find the King of Legend, meaning, is that guy going to be able to um, usurp um, Toilet King over here? I'm not even sure. Didn't consider that, did you? Uh, to help you in your noble deeds, the Toilet has bestowed upon you a beautiful fish of the finest, wor uh, finest workmanship. Ah, So this is the fish over here, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. The fish is sharp and pointy. It's sharp and pointy. So instead of a sword, it's uh, a fish. I could dig it. I could definitely see myself fighting people with fishes. Uh, Alrighty, let's continue going forward and let's uh, get on out of here. As you said on your first adventure, your heart is full of confidence that you will unlock every screwdriver, gather fabulous plungers, and save your heart's desire, the chest. Apparently, I wanted to be a janitor or something because I'm over here looking to gather the most fabulous plungers all across the world. Let's continue going forward here. Uh, Pants the Brave, that's me. To what distant land should I adventure to first? Distant? First, we must deal with the fire-breathing robot standing out on our front porch. It is only a matter of time before it breaches the outer walls and must be dealt with immediately. I can only imagine this toilet talking to me, just kind of like the lid going up and down. Go out there. Fight robot. Fire-breathing robot. Go on. Pants the hero. It's crazy imagination going over here rampant. Anyway, toilet, um... Well, what are you waiting for? Get out there and slay the trespassing robot. You silly pair of pants, you. Alright, so here- oh, that's that a kitty? That is a kitty. Hey, kitty, how you doing? Uh, and so our hero, Pants the Brave, is unceremoniously thrown out the front gate. That's me. Confused? Well, everything is mixed up, but by using look and reading descriptions, you can make sense of the insanity. Uh, <laughs> yes and no, game. Yes and no. Uh, let's go ahead over here and take a look at, um, let's go over here to the kitty cat. Let's take a look at the kitty cat. A shiny kitten that must be unlocked? That must unlock a screwdriver. How are you going to do that, Mr. Kitty Cat? Alrighty, let's just go ahead and uh, I, I guess I'll take Mr. Kitty Cat here. Excuse me, my friend, pair of pants. Let's go ahead and take Mr. Kitty Cat into our inventory. And, and that's our treasure right there. So we're not over here trying to rescue the uh, <laughs> the fair maiden of Peach, uh, Princess Peach, or you know any other Peach princess out there. I'm not even sure why I went to Peach. I have Mario in the mind for some reason. But yeah, yeah, we're over here doing it for money, and I kind of like that for once. You're not over here trying to rescue the princess. All you want is money. That's actually good for a pair of pants. So that's what we're trying to rescue. Let's come over here and... Oh, good God, that's the fire-breeding robot. That is a robot, indeed. And he's over here covering this plunger. And again, remember, we want to collect plungers because apparently we have aspirations to be the best janitor in the world. Uh, let's see if I could talk to the <laughs> treasure chest up here. Help me! Help! Oh, good God. Fear not, my beautiful chest. I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm a man of greed. I guess I'm a pair of pants of greed, I should say. Alrighty, so for us to get through here, we need to slay this robot. Um, if I'm right, we have to come over here first, right? 
And we have a screwdriver. Now, what did that kitten say? It was used to unlock the screwdriver. Well, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. You try to open a screwdriver with all of your might, but alas, it does not bulge. budge. So let's go ahead over here and open our inventory. Let's take old Mr. Kitty Cat, and we will place Mr. Kitty Cat. Oh, no, no, I mean, I'm going to take Mr. Kitty Cat. And close on out of here, and we want to use Mr. Kitty Cat on the screwdriver. The kitten fits perfectly and unlocks the screwdriver. That is just weird, man. So the screwdriver is gone. Let me take a look over here. We have Charles. You need something screwed or unscrewed? A Charles is your friend. Charles, is that Charles Darwin? I'm not sure who this man is, but apparently he's named Charles. I'm going to go ahead and just grab Charles here, put him into my pocket. Oddly enough, I happen to be a pair of pants, so it works out really swell. Uh, we'll continue walking forward. There's a rope here, too. Let's go ahead and we can. Take a look at this rope. A rope. Great for spreading pineapples, but useless against robots. Oh, well, that's a big problem because we have a robot out there. Alrighty, so it's good for spreading pineapples, though, so that's actually something to consider. I'll, I'll take the rope for now. We have a potato over here down as well. But, um, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. Get on out of here. Uh, Mr. Potato Man, how do I look at you? You never know when a long, hard potato will be needed, yeah? Long heart is indeed correct. Um, sure, let's go ahead and continue forward. Let me take Mr. Potato here as well. Great. So, now I have a few items here. Now, you're wondering, what do you do here? Well, let's find out. I have no idea what to do. Look at the items I have on me. How am I supposed to make heads or tails of what's happening over here? So, my inclination would be here to find out, first and foremost, what's going on with this dragon man. Let's talk to him. Rawr! Never heard a robot sound that way before. It seems that peaceful negotiations have fallen through. Yeah, I would probably consider that to be the case. Let's take a look at the robot, though. A large, dangerous-looking, fire-breeding robot. Alrighty. So, I guess I can only imagine we're going to go into our inventory and use something on it. Uh, let's take a look at Charles. Can we combine Charles with, like, rope? Maybe if I combine Charles with a rope... No, never mind. That's just silly. I guess I'm just going to hang Charles now? What if I use Charles along with the uh, potato? What would I get if I combined a Charles with a potato? No, no, I don't really want to know. I kind of want to know, to be honest with you, game. What about rope and potato? Potato and rope? Nope. I like that. What about rope and fish? I know you're supposed to combine something right now. That much I will tell you. What if we did potato and fish? Hmm. I think I'm getting somewhere here. If I could extend the length of the fish... That's right, the length of the fish. Using the potato's handle, perhaps I could fight the robot. Alrighty, they've been combined now. And what if we use those <laughs> with the rope? No, that's just silly. Oh, that's silly. What if we use it with um, Charles here? Of course! I can screw the fish and potato together using a Charles to create a spear. I don't even want to know what this spear looks like. Apparently, that's what it looks like right there. Charles just disappeared completely. Alrighty, well, we have a spear. Let's go ahead and use it on the robot. Yes, that's it, of course. I can defeat the vicious, fearsome robot with this mighty weapon. Oh, good God. It's actually attacking the robot, too. Again, Charles just went invisible man on us right here. Help me! Well, I, I just saved you. The fire-breeding robot's gone. But I already did. I defeated the vicious robot for you, oh, beautiful chest. That poor robot wasn't hurting me. What I need help with is this clogged princess. No, not a clogged... Wait, a princess? Are you sure about that? You have a clogged princess? Of course, what else would need unclogging besides a princess? Well, I could imagine maybe even the king inside, but okay. Hmm, well, alright. I think I know that you need... Uh, I think I know what you need for this situation. I will find a butter knife as fast as I can, my beloved chest. Hoo-wee. <laughs> Anyway, we will wrap it up here. There's a lot more to do in the game. This is just a little bit of uh, exposure to it, a little bit of introduction to kind of give you an idea as to how it works out. And again, with a game like this, you might want to experience it for yourself. But again, as I mentioned, your mileage will definitely vary with this. It's a silly game for sure. Don't expect anything too serious. It kind of works as a point-and-click adventure game with a bunch of silliness and randomness involved. You get the drift. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support this. I mean, a lot if you're interested in the game, description below should have a link to the uh, Steam page itself. I will catch you next time.